guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl jay well well it's it's say what <laughs> on this channel is say what um i am going to review the general hospital uh i believe it's i don't know the date y'all but it's the episode that is on today um whenever this video is uploaded that's the episode that i am reviewing okay i'm so gone with the dates y'all it's just it's crazy Anyhow, today was a great episode. I'm going to tell you, I enjoyed this episode so good because, I mean, first of all, it was it's just everything that we have been missing in episodes was in this episode, okay? Um, we have Laura and her man that, you know, is daydreaming about killing her ass because she's just too close to situations. And I like the fact that he um, actually is like baiting her to get back into running for mayor because I believe Laura was supposed to win that election when she was going hard at it and then she just dropped that I felt like what the hell what what's going on I mean they're just gonna try to end her storyline like that and then she had to leave town you know I just didn't understand that whole thing you know what I mean so I am glad he's baiting her again even though that's not her husband that's his her husband crazy ass brother but it's good. I want to see Laura be mayor. She deserves it. She deserves that storyline, okay? Because first of all, you don't ever see the dude, um, I forgot his name. Oh my God. That's how bad it is. He's not even in the episodes anymore. You know what I'm saying? So anyhow, let's move on to Valentine and Nina, which I think they're going to get back together because Nina holds his hand today. <laughs> and I don't mind them getting back together. Like I said before in my other reviews, I mean, if, what's her name, Maxie could forgive Peter for what he had done, Nina can forgive Valentine. I mean, Maxie lost her husband. Nina lost her brother. It's like they're, you know, it's it's both, they're losing, they're feeling the same loss. But if Maxie can, you know, feel the way she feels about Peter right now, I mean, she's not like, acknowledging her feelings all the way about Peter and how she really feels about Peter. But she forgave him. She has the baby around him. She wants to be around him all the time. It bothers her when Lulu is hanging out with Peter. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if she can forgive the cause of everything, she can. Nina can forgive her husband. And I feel like, yeah, now that, you know, Valentine gave her her daughter that she thought was dead... And now she's on the show. I feel like that is a big change. Now, <laughs> let's move on to Sam and Jason and Christina. Now, my thing is, Christina was on the ball today. Because even though she was drunk, she's been saying the same thing when she's sober. Why don't you just get back together? Because y'all love each other. I'm trying to find out the same thing. Why is Sam stalling? Get back with this man, okay? I don't ship J. Sam, but please, I want that to happen so we could get move, like move forward from the situation. I want to move forward. I can't move forward if Sam doesn't make her damn mind up and say, "Damn, I want to be with Jason." That's it, okay? You're telling us all this foolishness that you you divorced Drew because it was the right thing to do. What what's the right what are, what is the right thing what are you doing that is the right thing because you're not with Jason so everything that she's saying doesn't make any sense it's the right thing to do to divorce Drew I want to be with you and you want to be with me but I don't feel like I'm ready to move to 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 take that step like sleep with you or to be with you I'm not ready girl if you don't <laughs> Yo, I'm sick of it too. I am sick of Sam and Jason and Drew because it's this supposed to be a tr uh, a love triangle. There is no love triangle. There is no love triangle. I'm sick and tired of saying it. There is no love triangle. Okay, the love triangle is between Sam and Jason. That is it. There is nobody else but them two. Okay, because Drew is not involved. Drew is always with Kim. Always with Kim. And if he does want to talk to a friend, he goes to Sam, right? Right? Because they're, they're friends. Anyhow. Let me just move on about that. 
Okay, but thank you, Christina, for forcing Jason back together again. Forcing, like she's on the forcing ship. Oh my God, but I just want to see them together so she could just get over Jason. Like, get together, have sex, make love, do what you need to do, and then compare your life, Drew, Jason. Okay? Get it together, girl. <laughs> I'm so over it. Um, then we have Kim and Jason conversation, which at first, you know, Kim was getting on my last night. First of all, I'm, I, I'm kind of out of order here, so forgive me. But I just want to say Kim is getting on my nerves with both brothers. Okay? She's getting my nerve. She's getting on my nerves with both brothers. Because with Jason, she's like, I don't want to speak to you right now. Da, 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 da. And then she decides, can I speak to you? Which Jason is like, you know, sure, no problem, and sit down. And I love the conversation between them because they have more chemistry to me than Kim have with Drew. But for some reason, they wrote her into to Drew, Drew's life. They should have wrote her into Jason's life. I feel like that could have sold. They made a decision to write her in with Drew and the chemistry wasn't there with her, okay? But anyhow, um, Jason found out about Alexis taking up freaking Oscar for a client. Boy, this episode was delicious. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is like, let's go back. So let's talk about Kim and Drew conversation, which I did. It's just too, it's like, it's like I know Kim been there for Oscar from day one. She raised him, but that was not Drew's fault. I mean, he was kidnapped and stuff and she couldn't find him. Yeah, 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 okay. And she told him as soon as she saw him. Yeah, yeah. But it was still not Drew's fault. She needs to understand that Drew has equal rights to his son. And she's trying, she's making all the decisions. And then Drew is just on this bag this bandwagon with her. Like trying to make peace. You know the 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 like those ex-husbands or ex-boyfriends who try to make peace with the situation. They don't want to make a situation worse and Drew says this to Sam that he does he doesn't want to make you know to go against Kim to make the situation worse you know he's that kind of peaceful person when it comes to the kids he just want everybody to be on the same page which is his character but I feel like sometimes Kim take advantage of that and especially with Oscar like today was Drew's and Oscar time and she just forced herself into the situation like, he doesn't want to see you. And you're making Oscar hate Drew. You know they're on the, like, Oscar and um, Drew's relationship is kind of iffy right now because he knew that Oscar was sick and he didn't say anything because of Kim. And now they're supposed to spend time together and Kim is not invited and she forced herself. And, you know, it made the situation worse. So now, like, Drew's just an enemy. Like, Oscar can't trust nobody. But... I love how this is going. Yeah. I love y'all. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I don't know how some fans are going to feel about this because a lot of fans like their relationship on the show, but a lot of fans are like, he should have looked more like Jason because, you know, I guess, I, okay, let me just, let me just keep going, y'all. Let me just keep going. Okay. Yeah. So the relationship between Drew and Kim is just getting on my last nerves and you know, and then she's going to have the attitude with Jason and then she's going to want to talk to Jason. And, and I should have just told her, like, flip you, girl. But that's not Jason's character. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, huh, let's go back back when Alexis came in and Oscar told them. Well, Oscar told them first how he's, uh, uh, uh what did he say? He, he's divorcing them. <laughs> Oh, oh my god oh my god is it divorcing or separating from them it's divorcing them right divorcing his parents oh my god that was hilarious okay and then when alexis came in and she got the slap of the year okay i swear they they that 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 we are we have been due for a slap i'm sick and tired of kiki slapping her mother if she slapped her mother one more time Kiki's. Kiki. Ooh. What goes around comes around, girl. Mm. Kiki slept with her mother's man, right? 
Didn't have no remorse. I told you I wasn't going to say nothing about Kiki, but this was too good. <laughs> I love what goes around comes around, girl. Okay, she, so you slept with your mother's man, you have no remorse, and they're going to have a relationship with him afterwards? You're disgusting, Kiki. Then you meet your new sister that's attracted to your damn man, okay? Ah, uh, Lord Jesus, what goes around comes around. I'm hoping they write this right. Okay, I heard a spoiler that Kiki gonna die. I wouldn't care. I'm sorry. I mean, I would love to see the sister relationship, but <laughs> Kiki gets me sick. I can't relate to a character like that. I'm sorry. They, like, diminished her character. Like, totally killed it. That's disgusting. Anyhow, y'all, I'm cooking, so I might just get up and check on the food because I do not want no burn food, y'all. Um, I should go check on it right now, but let me just hurry up real quick. So Ava spotted y'all. I was so happy bad Ava is back. I'm the sicker them like clowning my Ava, like throwing shades at her. Like I want Ava to get them. Now I do not want Ava to kill her own daughter. No, I do not. Okay. I don't want that to happen. I hope that would not happen. But I do want Ava to show her something that show her. Do not, this is why they call me Ava. This is why people are afraid of me in this town. Show her. Show her. Show your daughter who she's messing with. She's been hanging out with Sonny and Carly too damn long and believing the hype that she's been, you know, they've been throwing in her ear. And she needs to remember when, she, when Carly thought that Ki it was Kiki's fault that Morgan died, how they treated her ass, okay? Treated her ass and the names that Carly called Kiki and she is what girl bye bye anyways I just can't wait for that storyline y'all the Franco and Elizabeth scene I loved it I'm just like wow they really is building up this relationship because this relationship is the tightest on the show right now they're getting all I don't know if it's Becky doing it because she's been on the, t the show so long that she's getting like like you know, special treatment with her with her shit because they get the most. Maybe it's just the chemistry between those two, but they get the most good scenes together. Like the outside scene that was so beautiful. The way they he just hugged her, and I never shipped uh, Frizz, but God, you can't help but to because they're making it so beautiful. It's hard to even remember about. Franco's past you know what I'm saying you remember it but it's like it's hard to stay there because he's this person now but we all know it just takes I hope to God well it wouldn't be a soap if if Franco don't don't turn bad but if once Franco turn bad that's it for him and his shit but uh <laughs> But you know, no, no, you know that's how it goes. But I really enjoy that sh uh, that that scene with them. That is so is so beautiful. And of course, we have the, the the what I wanted to talk about Alexis and Oscar scene when Alexis was talking to Oscar at her house, and he was like, she was like, you need to find somewhere to to live. You can't live with your parents, you know, your parents anymore. You can't stay here because Oscar was like, can I stay here, you know, with Alexis? And he was, she was like, you can't do that because you know it would it would mess up the whole case. And he said he had an idea, like like he has an a, a option. I know who the option is. It can't be Jocelyn. It can't be Elizabeth and her son. It has to be Jason. It has to be Jason. It can't be his dad. His dad lived with Monica. It would have been Monica, but his dad lives with Monica, which, which is his grandmother. So it can't be them. It has to be Jason. And I am for it. I am for it. I'm excited about that. I, I, I knew, I just don't know if... Oscar is really going to turn out to be Jason's son because they're making him so close to Jason. Like they're turning this stuff around like he's the next Michael or something. You know, it, this is so awesome. I want, I want this to be, I, I can't wait to see it. I want to see what Jason's going to say. Um, you know, this is just, just as this thought that it might be Jason, but if it is, I want, I, I'm going to replay Jason reaction over and over and over. And I feel like he's going to say yes, but 
It's gonna put a damp in Drew and Jason's relationship. Oh my God, like. Cause Jason is not gonna say no to Oscar. Oscar and Jason is not gonna kick Oscar out. You know, Jason is gonna make Oscar like choose his own, make his own decisions because Jason been there where Oscar is right now. You know, when he had that brain, that brain situation, the brain, he, he lost his memories and damaged his brain. So, you know, this episode was good, y'all. I don't know what I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing so much because this episode was so good. Now, yesterday's episode, I wouldn't care for, but today's episode was amazing, okay? Um, yeah, guys, put your comments below. I want to hear what you have to say. If, if you guys agree with me on this um, this episode, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to read your comments, y'all. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, and thank you for watching. Bye.